Good evening, everyone. I am out and I have returned from the camping excursion. I have resettled camp at a home base for the moment and I am taking in the evening air around a cultivated neighborhood as opposed to a hiking trail that a camper would enjoy. I heard something as I took a right out of my starting point. It sounded like some sort of um, mammal vocal cord. I couldn't be quite sure because sometimes the nocturnal creatures at night, some of the birds uh, and some of like the like frogs, they might sound like a high pitch screech, but uh, certain mammals can also make that uh, noise too. But it's really true if you are out in nature and there is some sort of living creature near you, try to stay calm because it can feel you. It can feel if you're afraid or nervous or angry and it will, it will also respond uh, in like manner. Um, the only thing that I was ever told, like if you encounter a bear and it seems hungry or aggressive, what you want to do is you want to take like a, a log or something large or a stick or a rock and hold it up above your head as high as possible just so that the creature knows um, that you could overpower it basically, like hit it in the head or something. Um, other than that, um, I've never really had any bad experiences with nocturnal animals. Down this road right here, there was a skunk that was passing in the middle of the night and I realized it from about six feet away. And I stopped and it stopped and then I slowly backed up and it didn't spray me. It just kept crossing the road and I just took a long way. And that was really nice that the skunk saw that I wasn't gonna hurt it or anything. That's the only reason a skunk would spray you. If a nocturnal animal thought that you were gonna hurt it, it would try to hurt you. But if you show that you wouldn't, it wouldn't, it does bother you. They know.